Bonjour Fresh Egg Ladies, this video today is about me packing for Paris Fashion Week. Oh, it's very exciting and my French Egg Ladies, I am going next weekend to Paris during Paris Fashion Week and I will be visiting a number of ready-to-wear shows. So, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you what I plan to wear during these few days in Paris, during Paris Fashion Week, and everything has to fit in my suitcase. Many people have asked me, Marianne, what do you mean when you say that style should say something about you? Well, this case, you know, in our video today, this topic about, you know, packing for Paris Fashion Week is a great example. Because during Paris Fashion Week, you know, all the people going there are going to be ultra fashionable. They're going to be wearing the latest trends. I follow exactly what I preach. And I preach to wear, you know, what suits you, what, um, what you're comfortable uh, in and what is your personal style. So what is my style? My style is about what real women wear in the real world, you know, for their real life. And that is not going to change because I'm going to Paris during Paris Fashion Week. You know, I have to think about where I'm going, you know, I'm going to be walking, it has to be comfortable, but it has to be, smart because I'm going to be there for business. So my, my outfits, if you like, has to encompass all that. Also has to fit in my suitcase. So this is essentially what this video will be about. I am going to talk you through uh, the pieces I'm going to bring with, you, uh, with me and the reasons why I made that choice. There are various ways to start creating an outfit, but for me, the simplest way that works, especially in this case, is thinking what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I am going to Paris. I will be, so I will be standing most of the day. I will be walking a lot from, um, from collections to collections, from designer to designer. So I need something comfortable on my feet. So thinking of my feet, thinking on my feet, um, is for me the main starting point. I don't want to think about my top yet. I don't want to start thinking about my outerwear yet or anything else. For me, the main thing, and that is, you know, the most important thing is comfort. First of all, heels are out of the way. No heels. And you know me, mainly my shoes are heels. So no heels. So, you know, whoop, suddenly, you know, suddenly, the, um, the options are much smaller, okay? So what options do I have? I have trainers or sneakers. They will, they will be comfortable. But for me, uh, I'm going to Paris to see some ready-to-wear shows, um, wearing sneakers, and I'm going for business. Let's not forget, I think it's far too casual. Um, and um, no. It's a no. So what else do I have? I have ballet flats, but ballet flats are not going to be comfortable for uh, walking a lot. I'm going to be walking miles in Paris. Okay, so ballet flats are, you know, you can wear them during the day, but if you have, you know, uh, miles to walk, they're not going to be comfortable. So I have one pair I have decided to wear. And also, let's not forget, I don't want to wear, to, to carry in my suitcase 10 different pairs of shoes uh, morning, during the day, or for evenings, or for um, casual times. No. You know, if I can bring just one pair of shoes, that's going to be this one. I am choosing my black derbies. So, why? <laughs> they are flat, but they have a heel, so they will be supporting my feet. They are very comfortable all around. They're padded. They're from Clark's and they're padded here. They're padded in the sole, the flat of my, um, you know, of the sole there in the shoe. Comfortable. I will be able to wear, um, you know, socks <laughs> um, inside to make it even more comfortable because, you know, 
walking around during the day, my feet will start swelling a little bit, probably, you know, um, you know, so we start being um, uncomfortable. If you don't wear any socks, you are likely to have, uh, to, cr to create some blisters. That would be a big no-no. Also, what is good with these shoes is that they are black patent. Okay, so patterns need to be dressier, and I like that. So I will have these. If I had a pair of black loafers with, a, you know, uh, flat heels, I could have chosen those as well. At the moment, I don't have a pair of these, but I will be uh, shortly be uh, purchasing some because they're very, very versatile. And I absolutely love loafers, as you know. So my choice, black derbies, to start with. So that's it. My derby with my trousers. The shoes are so comfortable. Oh yes, I'll be able to walk very comfortable. I will be wearing black socks. At the moment, I'm not wearing anything because I'm shooting the video. But um, I will have to wear socks because of walking all day. So that my feet will be comfortable, nice and cozy. I don't won't have to think about my feet. And that's the thing. I don't want to think about my feet and if they're tired or painful. You know, I just want to be thinking about you know, the clothes I'll be looking at and the designers I'll be meeting. Oh, something I wanted to add also. The big trend this autumn is leather and black leather. So, you know, again for me, it's a kind of a nod to the fall trend. You know, just because you're classic does not mean you are out of fashion or you, are, you don't follow the trends. You know, I don't usually follow the trends, but I can give a clin d'oeil to the trend such as black leather. It doesn't have to be, you know, in your face and punchy. Oh my gosh, it's so fashionable. But, you know, in France we do it, you know, we do it less is more and we keep it simple. So again, you know, I'm always following, uh, you know, what I have um, coined the, the term, you know, the three pillars of French chic. Keep it simple, less is more, quality, not quantity. So now we've got the shoes. What next? Well, I'm going up the body, you know, so I started with the shoes and now I'm going up. So the bottom, what bottom am I going to wear? So I have chosen a pair of black trousers, okay? These black trousers, kind of straight leg, uh, side pockets like this, ultra comfortable, ultra classic pair of black Trousers, these are a classic item, you know, an essential item, if you like, to have in your wardrobe. Ultra versatile, okay? So this bottom will last me as long as I am over there for two, three days. So why did I choose those black trousers? Because I can wear most any top I want to wear with it. I don't have to think about the bottom again. This will go with the derbies every single time okay all in black will elongate my legs even though i am wearing flats this is why i opted out of wearing dresses or skirts because you know with the it's not cold enough to be wearing opaque tights yet and you know with those black flats it just cut off my legs it did not look good so these are the trousers from benetton i got a couple of years ago you know i like those italian a pocket, you know, comfortable like that. Uh, they're kind of slimming, ultra comfortable. I will put a belt, I will wear a belt, as I said, and the back is just very simple, no pocket, you know, very slim pocket here. Um, yeah, perfect. And they're not too thick, so they won't be too warm uh, inside, uh, and ignore the battery pack. <laughs> So the length of these trousers, you know, are just perfect. I will be wearing a belt, a black belt, so that, you know, there's no chance of, uh, of them being too long at the back. Perfect. Again, I won't have to think about the trousers or worry about anything. But, you know, you can dress them up. You can dress them down. Uh, for me, they're going to be um, perfect. That's the only pair I need to bring to the trip. They will be perfect with my derby, my brogues. Um, you know, 
because they can be perfect for the day and they will be perfect just in case I go out in the evening, okay? Because I will be wearing my flats, but my, um, you know, my derby, my brogues, but the derby are patterned, so they are a little bit dressier. But for the day, you know, um, they will look a little bit casual because they're flat. So you get, you know, a bit of both, and I really like that for versatility. So we have the shoes, we have the trousers. What do we need next? Let's talk tops. So here are my five of my silk blouses, and I'm thinking of bringing two or three. So why am I thinking of that, and why not about other tops? It's because I am going there you know, on business. I need to be presentable. And mainly, when you meet people, they will see the top half. So my black trousers, my black derby, perfect, okay? And the good thing is, as I said, I can wear them with what I want. So I'm thinking about this. Um, you know, again, quality, not quantity, silk, very good quality. And these are all from Lily Silk, and as you know, very good quality silk. So I have here, you know, again, a nod to the fall trend, you know? Two trends in this one, the green and the lavaliere. So if I wear this, you know, again, I can I still follow my style, my classic style, but there's some trend here as well. So I'm thinking of bringing this, and I'm thinking of the black one as well. I have the same one in black. So that looks very dressy, and it's a form of respect to wear nice clothing. And let's not forget that in France we wear a lot of black. And a lot of black, again, you know, another nod to the trend, black. There's a lot of black for fall. So what else? I am also thinking of bringing um, a top that can go with anything else, you know, in case I'm going out in the evening. So I have, a, again, a top like this. It's got lace, it's got a simple strap, and, you know, it will show off my, my shoulders. I have nice shoulders um, and it is dressy. This will not crease <laughs> in a suitcase and I can wear it for, you know, for the restaurant or to a party or something. So that will be very good. And again, you know, I can wear that with my black trousers and my flat shoes. If I know I'm going out, I could even wear it for the day. I don't know. Depends on where we're going. I see. But at least I have that just in case. That's not going to take much room. So this is one of the blouses I will be taking with me. The green and beautiful emerald green. Very soft silk. I really love the curves of the three buttons here. And the removable lavaliere. You know, I can put it in a bow if I want to, I can leave it loose like this, I can remove it all together. Again, it's a very, very versatile blouse. Again, I think it's a good choice to bring a silk shirt because silk is luxurious and you know, it goes again, you know, um, within the three pillars of French Eek. Quality, not quantity. I want you to talk briefly about jewelry, what jewelry will I be bringing? I think I will be wearing pearl stud earrings, either these or the bigger ones that I have. I will tell you why. I don't wear big jewelry and big earrings do not really suit me because my face is quite thin. So let's say if I took this, I'm thinking about bringing and wearing this shirt. You see, you have already uh, the D ring here in gold with that big pearl look. So. This is already the nod to the full trend, one of the full trends about big jewelry. So if I have already something big like this, I can get away with minimalist earrings. So this is what I will do. I will be wearing pearl stud earrings. They go with everything, absolutely everything you have in your wardrobe, they go with. What I could do if I was, you know, going out, because, you know, if I'm going to wear my silk blouses, these are very dressy, so these could be also perfect if I went out you know, to a very nice restaurant in the evening. They will do nicely. And perhaps I will not take this, because if I go out after the shows, I may not have time to go back to the hotel, and I could just you know, wear, you know, go with what I'm wearing on the day. So I will see. Now, what next? So 
in Paris, early October, the weather can be cooling down. We don't quite know, could be warm, could be a little bit cooler. So, you know, and again, I will be indoors most of the time. So I'm thinking to bring a thin sweater. Nothing too bulky, nothing thick, because it's not gonna be as cold. So no need for bulky sweaters, because it won't be, you know, cold enough for that. And also, you know, I have a whole uh, small uh, suitcase. So I have a choice here. I could bring this merino wool, you know, in off-white. Uh, bearing in mind, you know, the sweater has, you know, has to, to suit what I'm wearing. So I would be able to wear the sweater on my shoulders or over uh, my blouse. So I have the choice of this. You know, I could bring this cashmere uh, grey sweater. Again, cashmere is fantastic <laughs> because it's very thin but warm. Um, you know, again, classic color goes with everything. I've also got my green one. Green sweater, again, in the trend. Um, and I have also this black one. Everything, you know, can be worn with the other. So I will be making my choice later on. So this will be one of the sweaters I'm thinking about uh, bringing with me. Classic grey, goes with everything. Warm, you know, uh, but thin because it's cashmere. Beautiful, you know, luxuriously soft. Absolutely beautiful to wear. Uh, does not add bulk to, to your body. Does not add bulk to your suitcase. You know, again, you can't go wrong with cashmere. Now, you know, what else? My outerwear. So I have various choices for outerwear. I have a black motor jacket, I have a brown one, I have a black blazer, I have a white blazer, I have a check blazer. Um, but I'm considering also, you know, the, um, the rain. Is it going to rain? I don't want to take two outerwear, very bulky. So, you know, I could bring this, I could bring that, I could even bring that. But I am settling for my ultra classic, beautiful trench coat. Okay, I'm putting it on, absolutely love it. And that will go with my all black ensemble. Um, you know, the one wearing green. I'm even thinking of maybe, you know, wearing this as well. This goes with everything else. That will go with everything. This also kind of, um, you know, when I'm wearing all black, especially with a black silk blouse, that would look very dressy. So that would be um, a way to dress the, th you know, the outfit down a little bit. Um, you know, the color, a track classic, style, a track classic, that will go with everything. And now the accessories. I have a choice. I could go with my beautiful vintage silk Hermes scarf. I could go with this kind of, I don't know if it's, oh, leopard, leopard scarf. And you know, one of the trends is animal print. So again, you know, a nod to the uh, trend. And also something, you know, a long scarf. This one, absolutely beautiful. So it's got, this got various trends as well. It's got the green, it's got the bright colors. And that would go with everything. You know, I will take maybe those three for a splash of color, for a little bit of warmth. And you never know, again, you know, the, the weather. Um, that won't take much space, no weight in my suitcase. What I do not want is to bring a lot, of, to put a lot of things in my suitcase, I have too much. Uh, and then in the morning, oh, what shall I wear now? Because let's not forget that the more options and choices you have, the most difficult it is to make a choice for an outfit. So me, I'm gonna go, you know, very simple. My suitcase will be just about half full. Um, let's not forget I will, you know, 99.9% .9 sure I will be wearing my, my Derby, my Brooks while traveling. I'm only on the train, three hour train, and I will take the taxi from the train station to my hotel. And that would be great. And you know, maybe, I will be doing a spot of shopping while I'm in Paris. So again, I need a bit of space in my suitcase for that, don't you think? Ah, the last thing, I almost forgot. 
what do I need? <laughs> I will need a handbag. So, you know, I will pick this handbag. Why? First of all, it's black. It's going to go with everything else. Great. Um, <laughs> and um, it is, look, there. I'm going to wear it like that. In Paris, you need to, it's a city, you will need, you know, you need to keep your wits around you, about you, and that is safe. Nobody can pull it away from me. Um, also practical, so that, you know, the weight is, you know, uh, dispatched on my body, not just on my shoulder. It is big, so you carry a lot. Um, and it also have, has a handle, very practical. You don't need a lot, you know. You don't have to rethink your... Your outfits if you go to Paris. Paris, you know, if, you, if you've never been, you know, in Paris we wear things that are ultra simple, like I've shown you. You know, nothing, woo, you know, um, out there. Okay, some people will be wearing these out there outfits. Okay, of course they will be wearing, going to the, uh, to the um, ultra trendy fashion shows, the scatwalks. I will be going to the ready to wear. Um, and, you know, for me, I can go to Paris, you know, I can leave those shows, I can go to Paris, I can go shopping, I can go in any restaurant, nobody's going to look at me and say, oh, she's come from a show, uh, <laughs> you know, and this is me, I don't want to change what I wear to fit something because I'm going there and buy everything new just for that weekend, it is not me, it is not a French chic way to to do things, you know, uh, considering our style, because I'm not going to buy an outfit, especially for Paris, if I can't wear it the rest of the time. So please let me know what you think of my choices. You know, uh, I am going next week, so, you know, I may change, I may add something or, you know, substitute something else. And my choice is, you know, almost there. I will continue being me, whether I'm going to Paris during Paris Fashion Week or whether I'm staying at home, um, you know, in, in the countryside, I will continue being me. And I think, you know, this is a valuable lesson in this uh, video. You know, no matter where you go, you, where you go, continue being you and being faithful to, to who you are as a person and being, um, you know, true to your style. So this is one of the outfits, you know, I could be wearing all in black, again, with my trench coat, I'm choosing a scarf, again, you know, that would go well with it, if I wanted to, and my, my handbag. You can see how simplicity really, you know, with simplicity, simple outfits, you can go anywhere you want. You can go to Paris, you can go and see uh, some shows, you can go to museums, you can go shopping, you can go to the restaurants, you can make, do visits, visit the monuments. Um, in Paris wearing that. No need to overthink it, keep it simple, less is more, and quality, not quantity. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will see you in Paris because I will, I will try to do some vlogging. Thank you very much for watching. A bientôt.